All right, yeah, welcome back. I mean, it's been fun. It's been interesting. King of Accra just uh, blew our minds with that <laughs> wonderful performance. But just hold tight, yeah. Strap up, get your seat belts on because it's about to get hotter and hotter in you know, this building. You know, we, we, we um, often say that it's not a fair world. Mm -hmm. And yeah, when I think about yeah. this gentleman, I really believe exactly. that it's not a I fair think I world. Agree with you know, because I agree how with can you. one person be so talented? Exactly. How can he know yeah. it all? How can he be yeah. creative, intelligent? Mm -hmm. I mean, everything. Yeah, is, is he, he does everything. What I want to find out from him today is if he can cook. Well, you know that we do not know. I have been very close <laughs> to him, you know, and when you talk to mm -hmm. him beyond yeah. the surface, exactly. he is very emotional. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, and, yeah? And, 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 you know, he is very, very loving. Mm -hmm. You know, he knows how to take care of a woman. Oh, wow. And I want to believe that people who do that often, you know, know how can to wow cook. women mm. with cooking. Okay. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, okay. please <laughs> help us welcome our next guest, Nathan the Obodai <laughs> Half amazing. Half man, half amazing. Yes, if I'm who are your parents? You know, tell us about your childhood. My childhood, I think I grew up as a regular boy. I mean Having two parents around, Hard have to two believe, brothers. But yeah, you go ahead. <laughs> Quite regular. <laughs> but I, I lived in a, I, I think I grew up in a family of very creative people. Mm. Yeah. My dad's an artist. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, he did graphics at tech, he paints, mm. he draws those things. My older brother paints, draws, mm. has done music videos. He's now only, that's advert. Oh, older brother? Nana Kofi Esenhine, NKACC. What is this? <laughs> and and my, my younger brother, Lawrence, he's, he's another creative. Mm. He majored in art direction in film school, went yeah. to NAFTI and was top of his art direction class. So now that's photography, well, those types I of mean, things. It doesn't come as a surprise. Wasn't, I wasn't gifted <laughs> to draw and paint and stuff. Uh -huh. I think my, my creative gifts are in a different direction. Right. Yeah. So that's it. How come you're so intelligent? <laughs> wow. That's a one yeah. bear, what's that? one bear, bro. Really? So Am I? Am I? Am I? No, because, I'm because I, from, from, from sports, being mm -hmm. like head of sports, yeah. and then coming to um, current research. affairs, and now head of research, I mean, you know, all these things, head of research. Samples that mom can be done. Head of research. Nathan, <laughs> yeah. tell us about your education, you know. Where have you come from? Okay, um, so I went to school, primary and GSS at Datus Complex okay. in Bubiashi. Then I went to Accra Academy, mm. which, was, which was a non starter. All the men in my family <laughs> life went to Accra Academy. So my granddad, and, 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 okay, so my granddad, my dad. You know, earlier we spoke to King of Accra. Yes. Mm. So King went to Accra. King's my junior. Okay. Really? Yeah, okay. So you knew okay. him in school? Yes, I knew King of Accra. Wow. Did you ever think that you guys would do something? I, I won't say no, but. In his year group, because I noticed, I mean, of all the people who did music mm -hmm. in King's year, I noticed he was very different. Okay. okay. You could tell that he had a deeper love for music. Mm. Right. So he, he always stayed at the back of my mind. And many mm. years after school, mm. we would meet casually here and there. I remember the last place I met King before he joined City. us here was at the Accra Academy Old School Reunion. Okay. okay. He was with some other beat makers, Slimbo and some other okay. guys. And then, you know, we just spoke casually. And every, every now and again, I think of, okay, I want to work with King. I want to work with King. Yeah. So and we'll then, come back, you know, we'll come back to your work with King. Yeah, so, okay, so, so after secondary yeah. school, mm -hmm. went, to, went to the School of Translators, University of Ghana, took up yeah. uh, an undergrad in translation. Mm -hmm. Then after that, uh, did my national service. I taught for a year. I think more than a year, about two years or so. Mm -hmm. Then I went to do my master's, Alessia, if I would know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then after that, after master's, I joined City. That was 2013 in January. Okay. And it's been the journey ever since. Joined, you know, as a reporter, sports reporter. Mm. Got up, became editor at a point. Then yeah. I, you know, I was moved on to to doing research. Mm. Did some mainstream. I've read news with my guy, you know, I mean, super guy. So super guy. Yeah, yeah, we that. both love that Ilumba. Exactly. You know, yeah. I do too. I mean, especially that Ilumba English songs. You know? <laughs> so yeah, that's now, in, in terms so, of yeah. So that's us, my my journey. Yeah, in terms how, of how many languages do you speak now? Wow. Okay, so um, English mm -hmm. officially English. French, so mm -hmm. in, this in the order of proficiency, yeah. okay. English, French, and Spanish. Mm -hmm. um, I took a Japanese course <laughs> at Lesiat, but Japanese is difficult. Japanese is the same way. No, no, it was part of 
the course. Remember, you know. <laughs> I know. And then, I... and then, so, yes, so English, French, Spanish, those are the languages I can say I'm very familiar with. Okay. Let's say, uh, Okay, like at a point I wanted to teach myself Portuguese, but that's a mm. bit on. Uh, what, what is it? You and know, then, so so. And then was, the last, was, in the yeah. last year or so, I don't because I've been listening to I don't know Italian football. Then I thought, mm. oh, let me see if I can learn Italian. Okay. I haven't started properly, but yeah. yeah. I beg you for the Italian. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so you know, I was having a conversation mm. some time ago with Nathan, mm. and then it was like, okay, so I have to go to school, and I was like, ah, are you what a student? Again? Are you going back to school? I said, oh no, I'm going to teach. I'm a lecturer. Like, this is a university. <laughs> oh, Nathan, no. Tell us about your lecturing experience too. Yes, so I think my, the very first time I attempted teaching, well, I think it was in uni, mm. um, I, I was teaching my mates. I think for, for the longest of times, I'd always noticed that I enjoyed explaining things to my classmates, yeah. whether primary school or JSS or in secondary school. I noticed I enjoyed doing that. Right. So it was in uni that I once had to explain a few things to my mm. friends, and like, it, it came quite naturally. Yeah. And so for my service, um, you know, the Institute or the School of Translators or the School of Languages said, oh, okay, come and do your service. So I taught an English class, uh, like English as a second language. So I was yeah. teaching mostly foreigners. Mm -hmm. And then that was fun. I enjoyed it because, like I said, it came yeah. almost very natural. Yeah. And then after that, taught for a bit, went to school, came back. So even when I started working at City, I was still juggling teaching a language class and then okay. working here. Wow. And that How old were you then when you joined City? 2013, so that's what, 2013, I was about 26. So 26 and you are teaching, you are teaching, I was, I was teaching, teaching foreign foreign. So I for a bit. It was, it was, it was interesting because you are teaching different people from mm. different backgrounds, old people, young people. And I remember when I, when I did my service, this was in my early 20s, mm. the first day I stepped into the classroom to teach, the students were shocked. I'm sure. Because yeah. these are 17, 18 year olds and yeah. they are looking at a lecturer who's not too... Equally their age. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I get that. The that vibe was there. Yeah. Yes. And then, yeah. so a few years ago, uh, Bernard Avla, who's our general manager, told mm. me that the UPSA VC wanted to talk to me on, on an issue. I didn't know what it was. Mm. Then he called, he sought my opinion, I shared my opinion with him. That just when he dropped the call, he said, wait a minute, like, do you teach? I was like, yeah, I've taught a few times. The VC called you? Yes. So, so, you're a big so, man. so you did not even go <laughs> looking for a no, job? No, the, the VC PSA. called to discuss something else. Mm -hmm. wow. Then just when what, the call... What, what did he want to talk to you about? Oh! <laughs> do I want to say it? Yeah, I like just, you know, oh, okay. sunrise catcher. Okay, so this was it. So UPSA wanted to give uh, the CAF president an honorary degree. Okay. Mm -hmm. And honorary degree. Which of the CAF presidents? Ahmad Ahmad. Ahmad Ahmad. Yes. Okay. So they wanted to give him an honorary degree. Mm. Like, I mean, Ahmad Ahmad is no more CAF president. Yeah. yeah. Was it and before or after his troubles? And this or was way before. Struggles. This was way before. Otherwise, he wouldn't have gotten an honorary degree. So he wants, it looks like he didn't know what to do. So mm -hmm. he saw the opinions of some journalists. He has spoken mm. to some other journalists and he said, okay, let me speak to you know this guy and let's see what he yeah. has to say. So I gave him my opinion. Just when he ended the call, he asked if I had thought before. Mm. I said I thought before. Then he asked, "Would I want to take up an appointment at UPSA?" I said, oh, "Okay, I'll think about it." Yeah. I thought it was one of those things. Then he called back a few days later and said he was serious. So I went to see him, gave him my CV, looked at it. Then a few weeks later, um, sent me to the faculty, met my faculty here. They said, "Okay, teach uh, level hundreds." Wow. You know. So what were you teaching? Like, so I was teaching them business communication. So they gave me a business communication syllabus to teach. I said, mm. "Okay, it's not too strange. I'll teach that." Wow. So I, the first few weeks was a little awkward, but after I got the hang of the course, I said, okay, we could teach. So but I how are the girls, you know? You know some friends yeah. that can't yeah. be you, I can't tell you. The girls, you know, girls are you talking know? about? I said, lecture, I know, you know, the new lecture. I wonder, you know, you can't tell me that the girls uh, were not you know, excited to see you. So I don't know like, if they were, they never told me anything. I would I? But, no, they didn't show any signs as well? Well... Oh, you must have caught a few yeah, signals yeah, here and there. What, what kind of signals? A few signals. I got I mean, keys. I got keys. I got keys. <laughs> okay, no. I got keys. Every Would time you I to teach, oh, hold on. Okay. Every time I teach, uh -huh. I have a principle. I say that I believe in making my students feel comfortable. So okay. I'm, I'm usually very, very nice with my students. Mm. I try to get the class to be warm and cordial and mm. all of that. So that's. Yeah, so people will be nice and say, oh, yeah. Mr. Carl, those types of things. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. But luckily for me, I have not, I have not experienced any very precarious situations. Thank okay. for that. If they go like Mr. Carl, you, you also don't go like, please call me Nathan. No, I <laughs> no, typically I would have, I would have loved to uh -huh. have been on first name basis with yeah. students. But I think that 
in, in as much as you want to be that, you have yeah. to draw exactly. the line. And I think it's, yeah. it helps preserve that kind of relationship. So if they call me Mr. Kwa, I'm very fine with that. You know, so you were privileged, you know, growing up on, uh, when you finished school, university, you had the options, you know, to either go into music or either go into maybe, oh. or music had not come in no, at no, the no, time. No, for, for the longest of times, I'd always considered music as a hobby. Something yeah. okay. I just discovered I could do. Mm. So I never really thought about it. And I'll say that... You stream in it. Yes. Yeah. Look, even putting music out, it's thanks to King of Accra. Okay, yeah. so so we'll go deeper into mm -hmm. that, but you kind of knew what you wanted to do because you're already teaching, even yes. when you were yes, I, out I, of school. Yes, yes, I, so where did the media, you know, come in? Why did you not continue to yeah. lecture students? Why? What, what okay. happened? I either would have, and probably I may still do that later in life. Um, maybe go get a doctorate and teach in my later years mm. because I think That's I will sad. end up in the classroom okay. eventually. Uh -huh. right. But growing up, by the time I was eight. I knew in my mind I was going to do one of two things. Mm -hmm. Either be a journalist or teach. Or okay. do something that required me to talk. Wow. wow. What, well, how did by you know? eight, I knew it. Because eight. by six, by age six, I could read the newspaper. Even I didn't understand anything. Mm -hmm. My dad would hand me the paper and say, read what you see. And I could read almost everything in the newspaper. Okay. I did not understand what I was reading. Yeah. But by eight, I could watch the news mm -hmm. and run and go and tell my mother that I saw oh, this on happened. CNN. Oh, mm. wow. And I remember very, something very interesting. The, the day Lady Diana died, yeah. my mom was yeah. outside chatting with my aunt. And I ran out of the room and I went to her and said, Mom, Lady Diana is dead. She was like, are you crazy? I I'm said, I'm not. Like a, yeah. Come and watch the telly. <laughs> From that point, that episode stayed with mm. me. And I told myself that I was either going to end up as a journalist mm. or end up doing something that required me to talk or communicate. And then as I grew up, of course, everybody loved sports. Mm -hmm. mm. So as I grew up, I tended to watch more sports, probably more than, more than other boys. I'd okay. spend more time watching football games, trying to understand mm -hmm. yeah. and all of that. And the interest grew and grew and grew. And by secondary school, I just knew that I, it, at a point I, it would come. You know? Do you do any sports yourself? Well, I haven't played active football in a while. Football okay. and basketball, those okay. are the two sports I say I can, okay. I can mm -hmm. do. Okay. Okay. You know, I haven't done those in a while, but those are the sports I think I can do mm -hmm. quite well. And yeah, so by secondary school, I kind of knew. So some of my mates in secondary school are not surprised at right. all as to yeah. how my life yeah, has yeah. played out. Mm -hmm. Some of my mates from university are not surprised at all. Mm -hmm. Probably the only surprising part there is the music. Yeah. But even that, they knew that they were going to do anything. Yeah. 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 yeah, because back in secondary school, we played around with music, mm -hmm. did some rap yeah. here and there, and all of that. Yeah. yeah. So. But how, how do you feel when people draw a link between yourself and the original Nathan Kwa, your granddad? <laughs> my granddad. Yeah. It feels. <laughs> It's kind of funny and mm. odd sometimes, but it has its perks. Mm -hmm. right. Strangely enough, it has its perks. Because you, you go somewhere, you mention your name, go like, oh yeah, your granddad is yeah. this. And you know, so I knew him or something like that. And I remember yeah. meeting Ben Chemano once came to City oh, okay. yeah. and we were introducing ourselves in the newsroom. And I mentioned my name. Then he said, wait a minute, it's your granddad. And I said, yes. Then he looked at me and said, I, I owe you lunch. Why? <laughs> he went to Kita Secondary School. Now, my granddad okay. was the first headmaster yeah. okay. of Kita Secondary School. Uh -huh. And Brendoche, that was Brendoche Malo School. Yeah. He said, I owe you lunch. Like, that's the school your grandfather yeah. was headmaster of. And the school shaped me. All of that, all of that. It, it, it opens doors. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's kind of. Mm. The interesting part, though, is when people meet me and they go like, you know, you have a street named after you. Yes, that's yeah. street. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Street. But it's one of these days I need to go and take a picture. There. You should. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, should. Because yeah, yeah. the, the first day I saw that street, <laughs> I was very excited. Should, I was like, oh, wow, they can go out. I need to go and take a picture. Yeah. Yeah. Take the picture of the man and his so street. So why did you decide to go to Lesia to do international relations and diplomacy? Mm. Um, I remember after, you know, doing service, I kept asking myself, what would I do? Mm. And I think my mom also said, see, you have to go back to school and, and learn again. I said, okay, but what am I going to learn? So I remember when the adverts came out and they published it in the papers, I looked through the courses. Nothing really jumped at me, mm. except international affairs. Because I said, it would be nice to understand how the world worked. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. You know, how governments functioned, mm. how governments related to each other. Mm. Because I felt it was a great thing to know. And knowing that would be important I mean, even as a journalist, just yeah. knowing how the world functions. Yeah. Yeah. So I said, okay, I was, I was, I'd, I'd apply. Okay, so I applied. I remember the long, anxious wait to see if I'd get in to do the <laughs> interview. I got in and was even more anxious, waiting to see if I had made the short yeah. list. And I remember yeah. a gentleman I went to the interview with called me and said, Nathan, you've passed. 
your name is on the list. I said, that's not true. He said, okay, where are you? I said, I'm teaching. He said, okay, when you are done, just to, if you want to just satisfy yourself, go all the way to Legon yeah. and go and see the list. Yeah. So I went all the way from Adabraka to Legon because I was teaching at the Institute of Languages. Okay. Got there and I was nervous. Then as I approached, like, you know the Lesia building, as yeah. I approached, I yeah. saw the <laughs> list on the, the glass door and I got there, got close, got close, got close, started looking through one, two, three. I couldn't see my name. I was like, what's happening? And I saw my name. It was like 20 something. Then I looked at it again and looked at it again yeah. and looked at it again. <laughs> <laughs> I a good measure. I shook my head. I called my mother. Yeah. And I said, Mom, I'm in. Said, wow. Wow. Really? Yeah. wow. So I think that can yeah. really be tied to yeah. get crazy. entry because yeah. they just take a few people. Yeah. yeah. So in my class, we were 50. There are about 10 of 10 mm. of the people from the foreign affairs okay. place because so, it's important that they need to get this academic mm. grounding of their work yeah. and yeah that's but how has that helped you because you've done bits and pieces of everything oh, it, look, yeah. it, it, it helps because for example if i'm listening to the news since i'm mm. watching international news right yeah. and i hear and i anything that concerns say china yeah. or the us and you you kind of Taking such a course helps you understand why exactly. governments lean a certain way exactly, or they yeah. act a certain way towards each other. You yeah. understand why the U.S. sees China the way it sees China exactly. and why China sees the yeah. rest of the world the way it sees the yeah. rest of the world. So it, I think it's been helpful. People will say, so why, why aren't you going to do diplomatic work? I tell them that when you get the knowledge, you can manipulate the knowledge yeah. to do anything you want. But would you consider that? Doing diplomatic work, maybe later in life. Somebody says, Oh, come and be an ambassador. Why not? Of course. Yeah, or like yeah. come and advise an embassy or something. Mm. But it takes time. I, I think that I need to like build myself a yeah. bit yeah. more. Yeah. Not not necessarily learn in a classroom, but mm. learn by interacting with people, people's experiences, those kinds of information or do, that type of knowledge is, mm. is very important if you want to like make the, the progress or no rush, climb up. No rush. You know, so um, at some point you decided that, okay, so this is my hobby, yeah. music. Yeah. I'm going to make a profession out of this. <laughs> Nathan, why? Well, I've not made a profession out of it. Okay, I have songs out. Well, of course. Yeah, well, I mean, okay. it's Once out there. Once you put songs so... out, I mean. <laughs> okay, so, so it's a career. Professional hobby. Uh, professional can you imagine? Okay, so... so um, <laughs> Again, I, I mentioned King of Accra. So when he started working here, not too long mm. after, I mean, I'd come to see him because, I mean, I know him from school. We'll sit and talk. And I said, look, King, I want to put out music. He says, ah, why not? Put out music. Where do I start? He says, look, just, just put your ideas together. The very first thing I attempted, I remember when Sarko there dropped Bibiba. So yeah. what he did was that after they recorded the song, they put the beat out yeah. and they yeah. told people have fun with it. Yeah. And so I heard it, and then I remember I recorded that one. That came I out remember like, that. Yeah, that song December. Wicked. I recorded it somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now when it came out, people liked it. And then King said, you see, I told you, you should try more of that. And then a few months later, Sarkozy again released the Who The Man instrument. Yeah. Yeah. He had recorded a song with Chrissy Arthur. Yeah. yeah. And then I got the beat. And I remember it so well. I got it one week. I can't seem to remember which mm. day it was. But I kept playing it on the drive home. But the more I played it, the more I started You're getting to, ideas. Yeah, I was getting ideas. So I got home. I was lying. I was around ten, almost eleven p.m. I was lying down. And I said, "No, let me write." So I got up. I was pacing up and down my room, playing the beat and writing the yeah. lyrics, and I wrote them all in one night. Ooh. And then I recorded one weekend, like two four hours at the recording session. Yeah. I remember okay. recording everything at one go. Yeah. One take. No, you're spe some special kid, huh? <laughs> no, no, amazing no. Guy. And, so, and he's amazing on the keyboard. Exactly. Then, yeah. And then, Nathan, so after that, no <laughs> and then after that, um, one thing led to the other. I got in touch with I Papi and to, yeah, you know, I Papi, yeah, the yeah. guy who did Stone Boys Ololo. Ololo. Okay. I got in touch with him, and then I got a sample of his beats, and then mm -hmm. I got some beats off him. One of two of those, beats, so one of that became Oh Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Right? Yeah. And then the other one became Be Mine, and I featured King of Accra. Yeah. And Be Mine has an interesting story. I was struggling to write the song. Mm -hmm. But the moment I heard the beat, I knew what kind of song I wanted okay. to write. Yeah. But I didn't know where to start or the kind of chorus or the yeah. hook, as we would say. So I played it to King of Accra and I said, Charlie, you have to come up with something. And then he came up with the idea. I was driving home when he called me and said, I've sent you a draft of what I've recorded. Just okay. listen to it if you like it. Mm. And as soon as I started playing the beat and his chorus came, 
all the locked doors and windows opened and the ideas <laughs> this is the one ideas started to flow and then, so it was a friday night by saturday 4 p.m i had yeah. written the song wow awesome. Awesome. so i woke awesome. up in the morning toying with the ideas so between 2 p.m and 4 p.m that saturday this was during lockdown mm -hmm. yeah. right so that saturday i was home again i was sitting in my room and i just wrote it they just came to yeah. make it's yeah. enough yeah. you know yeah. that is the keyboard right. uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> do your magic you yeah. know let's do something yeah. fun okay. let's, let's, let's hear you yeah. 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 I'm, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not like a, <laughs> an Elton John <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll I'll try. Try. Okay. but I'll try <laughs> uh -huh. okay all right, so um, we'll just play bits and pieces. Yeah, of yeah, yeah. Everything, everything. Okay, so Tufo, you and I love rap music. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, so, I'm so I'll play hip hop head. Yes, yeah. so I'll try and play um, something of a of a rap classic, mm -hmm. right? Something of a rap classic. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you are ready for this. Okay, all right, go. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know this one. Guess who's back? Yeah, how are you? Well, no, this this is Dr. Dre. This is Dr. Yeah, Dre. Yeah, but this I have Scott Storch. Okay. 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 A portion of okay. Shemi, but one of my favorite portions of Shemi. Okay, Shemibor, right? okay. So, so let's see. And I apologize if I don't sing too well, but we'll <laughs> I'll help you. I want. I'm not. Oh, here we are, we are by the roadside, so <laughs> we just show some of the stuff. We hear stories, so, so make I release we keys. Hear stories. Of what? Make oh, I release no. keys. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> if you say no, they'll pardon me. This guy is amazing. Charlie, we're going to give you a microphone here. Yeah? I mean, Twitter to some of yours. I mean, of course. Well, I mean, we'll you know, find them. I mean, please, no, 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 please. Do the magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I love, you know, I, I love the mind. You probably have to take the receiver from behind you. Take it off from behind you. Yeah, so, I yeah. Can, uh, yeah, so you can just probably put it in your pocket or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Maybe you can go Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to everybody watching the Upside Down Show. Thank you for tuning in. All right, let's go. Listen, I'm riding my rams on the biggest pad. My people be watching, they think is mad. I'm laughing and grinning because I just roll up and pick up the money in the biggest bag. In 2020, we were rolling hard. That be why the bang, I be going hard. You think that we're slowing? You see what we're doing? We we'll give you the music, we're going far. We're heading for the top now. Nah, never gonna stop now. Nah, never gonna flat now. Nah, keep it going. And we never gonna drop now. Nah, so you better tap now. Nah, never gonna tap now. Nah. We be rolling. You people thinking we're joking and really funny. Look at the ratings. Have to check your silly money. You're taking everything you're putting on the table. Leave when you disabled, we only get the silly dummies, but they call me the chief. Big boy in the sleep. Put a rap on fleek with a 363. But they call me the chief. And big boy in the sleep. Put a rap on fleek with a 363. Uh, I take a pause and I breathe and I know this And that I roll with the best and the coldest You know I got more skills and I show this You never hold this, you never mess with the figure man Hot 
pick your bling and it's a trigger man Type of guy you rock with the jigger man Rock and stay the shout outs to bigger man Yeah, I got my people saying DVD Charlie walk more, we're looking for the CD CD And then we take them and eat the same GD GD And they be calling us bad the same DD DD We're doing every day, we work busy busy Who be the boss, they be asking mini mini I'm living them with the tension, the heebie jeebie So right now, it be fiddy fiddy So no giddy giddy But they call me the chief Big boy never sleep And I put the rap on fleek With a 363 And they call me the chief Big boy never sleep and I put a rap on fleek. Y'all ready? Uh, listen, so many people wanna come at me and they debate. I sit back and I hesitate. I hit fast and I leave on the floor while I meditate. To clean that, I just delegate and then I bury weight. So when I hit them in the chest and they levitate, they know we every weight and then I relegate. Another man of things in the background, I pop and I celebrate. And I'm an enemy up the trap. We taking over, I got the game. So now we took up to the place and we taking over, I got the game. The streets we got the flame, sit on top of fame, dropping these trumps. So beats we got the game. Now the hits trap, they love the hip hop, the dodge you took for me. Up on TikTok, but they call me the chief. And big boy never sleep. And I put a rap on fleek. Yeah, with a 363. And they call me the chief. Big boy never sleep. Put a rap on fleek. With a 363. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> you know, so, so, so that was all, that was all, yeah. Right, and I think yeah. it's really been. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, feature yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Kid of Awesome, awesome. So awesome. Kid of Akra is going to join you, you yeah, know? Yeah, Kid of Akra will be joining uh, me for, for this particular song. Yeah, yeah, Kid of Akra yeah, yeah, yeah. is in the house. He'll be joining yeah, us. Now, really now really this is a song that uh -huh. every time I play the song, I'm like, oh, I look like that's cheap to him. Because it was... His idea of the mm. crew that kind of liberated, yeah, yeah. you yeah. know, the the, uh, the other parts of the right. song to come together. Mm. Right. And, yeah. yeah, the story be behind mine. the be mind. Who the, is the, the story? Who is the what person is, you're talking wow. to? Wow, it's just a love song. So, yeah. <laughs> did you do that song at the time? I think you did that song. <laughs> Which, which time which was time Ah, you have to wait time. <laughs> Later, wait time. Okay. You know, love songs are usually, most of the time, from personal experiences. Later, you and I so, know that time I'm talking about. Did you do it at that I time? I recorded, I think I recorded a song during lockdown. Mm. Okay, but that, that thing no, was like 2019. <laughs> 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 so, so I it right. like, it's just a vibe, it's just a vibe. I, I got you, I got you, I got you. Yeah, I got you. We feel that, we feel that, we feel that. Yeah, Kid of Akra, so, where are you, please? Kid of to join Nathan Kwa yeah. on set. Yeah, We're going yeah, to be performing a song they did together. It's yeah, entitled yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. People, this has been the Upside Down Show right here on City TV. It's always, always a pleasure coming your way with nothing but the best. My name is Premier Dunyame. And mine is Nanatu Four. The show was brought to you by Vodafone. Together, we, we can. can. Nathan and Ken of Accra, take us away. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, hey. Nathan. Yeah, yeah. Ken of Accra. I get some girl, so tell them say I love her. Say they me who know me feel it woman, but what time ain't charge yet? Uh huh, uh huh. Say they me who know me feel it woman, but what time ain't charge yet? Uh huh. Baby, I want you. you the taste? I need you. you the type? I want Look you. Look at her waist. I need you. you. Baby, I want she you. She be my taste. I need she you. She be my type. Baby, Look at her waist. Listen, uh huh. Listen up by him, I'll be feeling you I need to have you in my life Baby, see the deal is you Maybe you be thinking, I'll be joking, I'll be fooling you But nothing could be better than the truth that I'll be shooting you hey. You see the reason I'll be telling you these lines Is because you're so magnificent, you're classic and you're fine And I love the way we vibe uh. Connect on IG Live uh. I know they fit to focus every time we on the drive Cause hey. your form be amazing. amazing Elegance be epic hey. The honey with the glaze, all real, no be edit The number one fun cheerleader, let me rep it And know they hold your hands while we do the dance step it I bring the number one sound with the run town. Anybody with him, baby, I go run down. I go there on body from beginning to sundown. Date night, it's the Saturday, baby, so come down and make me go. Say they me who no me feel it with my boy with time in charge. Uh huh, uh huh. Say they me who no me feel it with my boy with time in charge. Ah, baby, I want she be my taste. I need she be my type. Look at her waist. I need it. Not be hype. She be my taste. I need she be my type. So baby, check out. 
Listen, and then I wanna make you Mrs. Quiet. No be future, this is now. What the ladies they go bow, baby. Have your kisses now. now. Very intense prayer. Top, Top of, of the, the witches now. now. Rub the lamp and I'll be dead in it. Have your wishes now. Now let me now, Bopo. Just like DL said. Oh yeah, my kumo muto fit. Just like DL said. I'll be saying no to what the ladies they once dead. Put some faith in your love like it was day one bread. And while they talk, if it's smart, then I got you. I they do over speed, baby. Break, see, I got you. The feeling check like phobia. It never just a die. Feggy time last. Spend the gold. Then I guess go shy. Well, I ah, everything gonna be your own. Relax. All the sickness. You catch me in and they won't relapse. But fabulous is telling me to breathe. Breathe. And baby, we're together. It's a dream. So you gotta just believe it. Make me go. Say, give me wound. Oh, me feel it with my boy with time in charge. My boy with time in charge. Say, give me wound. Me feel it with my boy with time in charge. Baby, I want She be my taste. I need. She be my type. I want you. No waste. I need. You know, be high. Baby, I want you. She be my taste. I need. She be my type. So baby, she be my taste. Be mine. Say, give me wound. Me feel it with my boy with time in charge. Uh huh. Uh huh. Say they me who know me feeling with my boy with time in charge. Baby, I want you.